Hey guys, Ryan here from Tutorials for Editing, and today I'm bringing you another editing tutorial. Today's effect is called the Ghosting Effect. Some of you have probably heard of it, and some of you have probably not. Um, a really easy effect to do, but really effective effect, if that makes sense. But, um, so I'm going to show you the preview like always, and then um, we'll start in City Vegas. <laughs> Okay guys, that was the effect. Now what you want to do is you want to import your clip into Sony Vegas. So you should have your clip. And then um, you want to right click on your video track and you want to go all the way up to duplicate track. So now you should have two of the same videos in the two separate tracks. So, but um, when you're doing this effect, all you need to do is edit the top one. So you don't need to touch the bottom one. So uh, when you're using the, um, the ghost in effect, you normally kick start the effect just before you, you shoot the actual gun. So um, in my case, I'll use T here because that's where I just take the shot. So I press S on the keyboard, and then I'll delete this part that I don't need. And then um, after when you've done that, you want to just by um, frame by frame, you want just want to scroll through until you see the point score come up, and then go back out. And then you want to press S on the keyboard again. So now you should have your own little clip here that you've just done. So um, now I'm going to go to my next shot, which should be over here, and um, just before he takes it, so it will be around about there, press S on the keyboard, scroll, um, yeah, press S on the keyboard, and then I'll go frame by frame till the points come up, and then go back out. And then I'll press S on the keyboard once again. Now you can delete this part, because I won't be using this part. So now you should have... Um, a little video here and then a little video here. So I'll scroll through again, find where I just take the shot, which would be here. Press S on the keyboard, delete this part here. And then um, frame by frame once again till the score comes up and then goes back out. And then I press S on the keyboard. <coughs> S is just splitting the actual video. So um, you get the basically doing um, what you over and over again doing the same thing over and over again on each of the shots so um, that's just before take it so I press S on the keyboard to split it go frame by frame there's the score and there then press S on the keyboard again just delete this part here so um, I can delete the rest of that top clip so now I have four separate clips on the top track each having separate shots. So um, now you want, what you want to do is you want to just just zoom in a bit so you see the actual clips a bit so it's a bit wider. Um, now what you want to do is you want to where you, where you, just on the left corner of the clip um, you should see a fade offset and what you want to do is you want to hold that and just scroll it a bit to the right and then same goes for the right corner scroll that to the left so it just fades it in and out and do that for each of them so fade it in and out this adds to the actual ghosting effect <clears throat> now what you want to do is um, to make the effects come into place you need to change the actual compo composting mode um, and you want to change it to add so um, now once you've changed it to add you want to go well, zoom in once again, and you want to get go on um, event pan crop, which is here, the little box. And um, you need to do this for each clip. So what you want to do is just about before you take it, which would be about there, just add a keyframe, which is all that like, plus sign here, and then go all the way to the end of the clip and zoom all the way in. So before you actually can't zoom in anymore, just have it around about there. So it's just a little box. And then do that for every clip. So, just before I take the shot, which which would be about here, no here. Um, create a keyframe, go all the way to the end, and zoom in. Like I said, it's a really easy effect, but um, it's it it's a really neat effect at the same time. Uh, so. Do the same to this one, just before take it, which would be there. Add a keyframe, go to the end, and zoom in. 
And then one last one. One last more. That makes sense. Um, so, that. Add a keyframe. And then. Zoom in. So let's just preview that now. So yeah, that is um, the actual effect guys. Um, I hope it's helped. If it has helped, please leave a like in the description. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave a like under the video I meant. If you've got any questions, just leave um, a comment in the description uh, and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Um, subscribe if you haven't as I do weekly tutorials and um, I'd probably be bringing out um, like probably two tutorials a week coming um, depending on how busy I am so yeah thanks for watching guys until next time see ya